Okay, so live is working. Yesterday I tried to go live and it was like, I think so many people were live that it wouldn't even connect. Um, but I just heard, hi Amy, hold on baby girl. I just heard a question that is literally, hi guys, literally the most powerful question I've heard, I'm gonna say in my life, cause it really is, it really does, hi Dawn. It really does summarize what I feel like I'm on this planet for. So when I heard the question come back to me, have you ever had a moment where you are trying to put words to what's in your mind and, and you just feel like it's not completely getting out the way you're thinking it in your head? Like it sounds so good in your head, but then someone says something, you're like, that's what I was trying to say. That's it. And so the question was, you ready? The question was, how do you want to remember yourself right now? And I really want to ask you guys that question. I would love for you to play with me today. Don't just watch. Please, like, like comment something with me. So what I'm going to ask you to comment is, is how do you want to remember yourself right now? And it's a twofold question. So number one, right now, as in during this season of coronavirus, where you're quarantined, we know this is going down in history. We know this is going to be in history books. We know that we're going to look back on it and talk about it with our kids. We know that we're going to talk about it with our grandkids or whatever that might look like. What are you going to talk about in this time? And I had this moment because today's Wednesday and I get to do Wellness Wednesday. And I'm going to I'm going to be honest with you guys. And I'm, I'm very ashamed of this, but I'm going to be honest because I know I'm not alone and I'm willing to air my stuff out if it's going to help somebody else. But Abish is grinding. Yes, Amanda says she's remembering herself right now for grinding. So so I'm going to tell you guys this vulnerable share about myself. So I went to the store for the first time last night. And I haven't been to the store. The first time we got word of quarantine, I did Instacart, which people made fun of me. And I, I felt like I, my real, aside from the convenience of Instacart, my real reason for using it, because I promise you, I went into assessment around, should I use Instacart during a time of like this? Like, is it wrong to send somebody else to go buy my toilet paper and to go buy my, like, I'm literally picturing, like, they're gonna know what they're buying. Like, they're buying canned foods, toilet paper, all these different things like they're gonna know this bitch is just sitting at home while I'm out here putting myself at risk buying groceries so I thought that but then I thought if there's someone who's willing to buy my groceries right now then they must need the money and if I can pay someone and keep somebody employed and they're choosing to do the work then the, I want I want I would rather them judge me and here's a here's what takes us out of action all the time is when we're in our mind and we're thinking what are people going to think about us we take ourselves out of what the intention was and my true intention was yeah I could get up and go to the store right now and maybe I should based on people's judgments but the truth is, is I could also put money in somebody's pocket and so anyway I went to the store for the first time last night and you guys, I freaking didn't even make it by the, like I had 10 minutes before the store was closing and I started on the junk side of the aisle. And I teach Wellness Wednesday. I just talked about this last week that what got me started online was wellness, was wellness conversations. And so I, I know better than to go on the parameter of the store. You just go straight to the produce, like just stay out of like that, that section where all the box canned goods are. Right. But I went to the cereal aisle. I got all my favorite childhood cereals. I got Fruit Loops and Apple Jacks. I got, um, freaking barbecue chips. I got Cheez-Its. And then they did the, the last call in the mic. So I went over, I grabbed some cutie oranges and a pineapple. And then I get in the car, I'm like, I actually am really craving a salad. Like I, I haven't had any whole food. I've been eating my juice plus, but I haven't had whole food. And so anyways, my point, my point, I want you to get this. The point that I'm trying to make here is that now is the time. I don't want to remember myself for sitting in the house and killing my gut that I've been working so hard to heal. I don't want to go back to comfort. And I realized last night after I left that store that I literally am reverting to comfort in a time of chaos and fear and what is gonna happen and what if the world is ending and what if I get stuck in my house? I went straight to my comfort foods. I went straight to childhood. I was looking for top ramen. I was looking for a cup of noodle and they didn't have any, but I went straight to my comfort foods. And so my, my, my invitation to you right now, back to my question about 
what are you what do you want to be remembered for yourself in this time right now do you want to remember that you sat in your house and ate all your comfort foods and got comfortable and caught up on a million Netflix series? Or do you want to remember that you stepped into the next version of yourself? And I want to, I want to share with you that, that aside from my little breakdown moment in the grocery store, which I, I'm thankful that I snapped out of and woke up to, I'm choosing the latter. I'm choosing that I realize where I've been letting perfectionist take, for perfectionism take me out. I've been saying I need to know a hundred more things before I can do this. I've been I've been making it all about me. I've been staying inward. And so, where are you telling yourself that you're not enough? Where are you telling yourself that you don't know enough? And here's what I believe. Here's why I love this question and why I believe it's the best thing that I've ever heard is because it's actually what my work stands for. It's actually what I believe God called me to be here for because I'm a huge believer. I believe in my core that every single person was born with a gift that only you can deliver. So if you, I always, you guys, if you watch my content, you know I always say this. If you woke up today, if you're alive right now listening to this live, there is a calling on your heart. There's a purpose for your life. There's a reason why you're here. And that reason is not to go to the grocery store. That reason is not to have your house clean. That reason is not to, to catch up on reorganizing all your closets. That reason is not to even be a good wife or a good mother. That reason is one unique gift. There's one thing. And, and don't like let's not go too far down the rabbit hole because because being a parent is is like we are creating the next generation so i'm not saying that that's not your calling and your purpose but i am saying that i do believe outside of being a parent i feel like like humans role is to reproduce like we are to reproduce humans right so that's just a part of our well-being of our like our duty as a human is to reproduce and not everyone does that but some people do but outside of that there's something that only you can do for the world and that might be your testimony it might be your story it might be the the things you can give your money it might be that you're you have the ability you're so smart you could create a tech company and be a multi-billionaire and now you have money to put back into the ecosystem to put back into science to put back into donations and and starting fundraisers and serving people so my question to you right now and i would love somebody i get to really i'm staying on this line i have i have four minutes i'm staying here that we get to claim right now what are you going to be remembered for i would love to hear what are you committed to creating in your life in your world right now while you're stuck at home or while you're in quarantine or why you have this window of time in history that you it's it's like i see it like this reset button like like a blank canvas that when we when we come out on the other side if you will what is your path are you going to come out of the other side the same exact human as you were before it happened like are you looking at life as a pause or is this reset and when you when you hit play again are you starting from scratch are you starting from where you were when when we hit pause or reset or are you starting from fresh scratch so what will you be remembered for and not and so earlier i talked about two fold to this question so not just in quarantine but in your life if your life were to end in the next six months in the next six years in the next 60 years at the end of it what legacy are you creating erica says healing i love that i love that and and so what what legacy are you creating what are you creating in the world that is is you're going to be proud of that you left like what are you who are you being to justify that you had a purpose on this earth or are you going to buy into the story that's in your head that you don't matter or that you're not enough that your story doesn't matter that your gifts are not good enough so i i would love to hear i see lots of people are tuned on here i'm on instagram and on facebook if you're still live with me you, you i'm i'm asking you to participate with me share claim something don't be afraid and if you're afraid like maybe right now all you can commit to is i'm committed to to flattening the curve i'm just staying home yeah you like i'm gonna be eating 
you know, cup and noodle and watching Netflix. I, I'm not with you, Crystal, on the whole, you know, change the world situation. That's fine. I just, I, I, I'm asking you to at least engage with me and tell me what will you be remembered for during quarantine? What are you going to say shifted in your life, in your being during this time that you got to sit at home and reset? And not everyone's sitting at home. So if you're someone who's on the front line, I see you, I honor you, I thank you. I was so grateful for the people at the store yesterday. I'm grateful for my sister, my mother-in-law, for all the people I'm seeing online who are still going and being out there. Thank you guys. Um, you guys hear me? But I, can't hear you. I would love to. Okay. Uh oh, hold on. Good too. Guys, that was so scary for me. Yeah. That's it. Mute this. Uh, I know. I felt like I was in the Okay, so I think I get to go. I think you guys are still here, but I don't know if you can hear me. All right, let me see if anyone commented. That was funny. I don't know what happened, but what was funny, Christy? Um. Can you guys hear me? Give me a thumbs up. Give me something. Because I see that there's people watching me, but you guys are not talking to me. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. Oh, cringy. Cringy is my word. No, it's a, it's a good show. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yeah, that's hysterical. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I, doing it in the shower right now. I'm like perfect. inside a bathroom shower. Oh. That's where I did my face with my Nice. I think live can come to you from anywhere, no matter yeah, where you are. As soon as I got off, I actually did oh. exactly what I said I was yeah. going to do in my video. I sent a message. All right, guys, I'm leaving. I got to get back to my call now. Do a video chat so please for comment, Megan, her me. grandfather, who she hasn't seen in three